In Australia, over half a million residents in New South Wales will benefit from Veolia's expertise and cutting-edge technology for their water supplies. In regions of water stress, science is defying the laws of nature. In the future, seawater will be turned into fresh water for the people and industries of Iraq and Kuwait. Veolia takes over all of Dalkia's international activities and thus increases access to energy and heat for most people. A unique initiative in Europe, Pesh, a Hungarian city with a population of 150,000, produces its own heat and electricity after the commissioning of a cogeneration plant that runs on just straw and wood. In Asia, as in Europe, leading industrial concerns need highly effective solutions for the treatment and recycling of water, as well as for the optimization of their economic and environmental performance. Associations between public and private concerns act in the public interest. After New York and Pittsburgh, Veolia helps the District of Columbia to evaluate and identify how to consume less of its resources and reduce its water production costs. Following the examples of Lyon, Prague, and Shanghai, cities are becoming increasingly intelligent. They can now use real-time data to monitor the use of a wide range of resources in order to avoid waste. The municipality of Las Condes, one of the most well-known and densely populated of the Chilean capital's districts, has appointed Veolia for the collection and treatment of its domestic waste. For the first time in Japan, Veolia has been awarded a contract to provide a comprehensive range of water services. In the industrial sectors of the future, excellence will become the main driver of growth. When it came to optimizing, operating and maintaining the water treatment plant at its gold mine in Ghana, Anglo Gold Ashanti naturally chose the partner that could offer it the very best in operational know-how. At the ultra-high security facility in Ellesmere Port and in Port Arthur, dangerous chemical products are destroyed in accordance with the highest environmental protection standards. Alternative energies are on the increase. The power plant in Merritt, Canada, is fueled by over 300,000 tons of biomass a year, making it among the largest on the North American continent. The eco-petrol wells southeast of Bogota do not just produce crude oil, but also water. An ingenious integrated system separates out hydrocarbons from the water used for extraction, treats mud, and cools the water before reusing it or returning it to the ecosystem. Nothing is wasted. The 14,000 tons of steel that make up this Norwegian platform will be recycled and perhaps used to manufacture brand new cars or trains. While 317 Parisian railroad cars dismantled by Veolia for the operating company Air ATP may be used for ship construction. The French Navy's helicopter carrier Jeanne d'Arc was decontaminated and over 90% recycled. Among other uses, the 9,000 tons of steel recycled could potentially be used for the construction of a new offshore platform. The circular economy is booming. Kestorama has the right idea. Rather than disposing of waste wood and plastic from its stores, a much better option is to transform these materials into contemporary building materials. At Plessis Gasso near Paris, non-recyclable waste is transformed into heat and electricity. Local communities and citizens can now produce their own energy. There is no more need for intensive handling when recycling waste. A genuine recycling revolution has come about from two innovations, sequential self-adapting sorting and remote sorting. These ultra-efficient means of processing open the door to new, highly efficient recycling and resource production techniques.